G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I was lucky enough to pull a 6 star Count Nefaria from the web store code that we all put in for the 3 crystals. I popped them and there he was, so I had to rank him up. Rank 5, don't have the ascension dust at the moment, but yeah, I, I'm planning to fully max him out. I'm absolutely loving him, uh, he's insane, he's got bleed immunity which is kind of punishing if you get a lot of bleeds, but if there's only like a few bleeds it's fine. Um, he's got 90% shock and incinerate resistance. When he has max stacks, he has 90% degen resistance. By max, I mean 100 of his ionic charges. Um, he can heal reverse, he can evade, he can power control reverse, he can siphon also the power and the healing. Um, with the synergy, he can counter evade and unstop. The Iron Man synergy, I will showcase that here. Um, he's When he's uh, in... Ionic Overcharge, he has non-contact hits uh, and deals completely energy damage, so that can be very helpful as well. Yeah, it's just insane. He also stacks up a lot of debuffs, which, you know, certain nodes can be very helpful. He gains no buffs naturally, but he does gain Fury effects, uh, passives. Here are the synergies. There was the Iron Man one. Basically, whenever you place one of your uh, pa personal debuffs, you also place a Decelerate 15% for 18 seconds. Uh, the Hood and Zemo one is the other useful one, which can just be for if you need the energy damage or the non-contact hits at the start of the fight, like against an Atuma or a Korg, you can have that so that you don't have to ramp up in physical damage phase or, you know, contact damage phase. Uh, and then also the next best one can be just the 20% or 40%, so that's when you're using just revives, you gain a little bit of health, so yeah, nice little boost. Going to showcase a fight here, very small health, just side quest Doctor Strange, but he has passive power gain, so I'm just going to showcase that power control that he can do. Um, I will get to more advanced fights as we go through the video, but basically you want to parry, do the evade, and place two of the charges. I do not have the Iron Man synergy, so it's just two of the charges, the energy build up charges. Uh, when, you, when your evade's on cooldown and you parry, you gain ten of your Ionic charges, which is helpful. Um, so feel free to do that. You can, you know, parry, medium, medium, parry, medium, medium, and just keep doing that. Um, now, when the evade's on cooldown, you can actually parry special attacks and evade, but you only want to do it with the last hit, or if it's like a quick double hit, like Winter Soldier's guns at the end of your special one, you can parry the first one and you will evade the second one. But like, for example, his special two, you cannot parry the first hit of the special two when he starts shooting and evade the last hit. It's not like Sunspot, where, you know, if you parry with Sunspot for the perfect block and you keep holding it, you get perfect blocks the whole way. Yeah, they've got to be very close. But yeah, he's dead. Um, all it was was Special 1 to get up into Onik Overcharge. Then I was gaining power. He wasn't done. That was a bit fast. I've just slowed it down and replayed it. So you can see the power gain that Doctor Strange is gaining. You know, that's normal Doctor Strange things. Gaining uh, power over time. He's got the power efficiency buff as well. But as soon as I activate the Special 1, go into Onik Overcharge, suddenly... He's not really gaining power anymore. He is, but like, it's he's got 95% less power gain than what he had before. Um, and I'm actually gaining 60% of what he would have been gaining. Very useful bit of utility and fight control he has. So here we are against Realm of Legends Winter. Uh, it's actually Juggernaut. Get surprised, didn't see that coming. But yeah, I'm bringing Iron Man for the Decelerate. Uh, so his unstop will be shut down. Very helpful. Uh, yeah, I'm starting the fight, parry to get the evade, you always want to be using the evade on cooldown if you can, um, unless you have some way of gaining your Ionic charges naturally through power gain or, you know, heal reversal, any of that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, here I am using it, and I'm trying to also parry the last hit of Juggernaut specials. Um, so the special 2 here, that one's not too bad because he comes towards you quite nicely, the spacing is quite good. Um, yeah, I'm using my special 2 to convert up to 150, well not convert, but just gain a Fury per 10 of my Ionic Charges I have, up to 15 Furies that is, so 150 Ionic Charges. I wasn't quite there, I only had 120. Yeah, we're moving again, just making sure that I'm special wanting to convert the energy build-up charges into Ionic Charges. That's pretty much it, you just want to be, for the most part, special 1, special 2 cycling. Um, sometimes I like to use back-to-back -back special 1s or back-to-back -back special 2s, depending on, you know, how my charges are going, but big damage is built and he's dead. Up next, there's an Act 8.4.3 Dragon Man, this is just on a path. It's a lot of nodes going on, but the main ones are if you don't activate a special when the timer expires on you, you gain a degen. 
but 90% degen resistance, so I don't really have to worry about that. Special 2 is unblockable. Um, he gains lots of power, and if you gain, if you get a power gain, you instead get power drain. So yeah, it's all a bit of a mischief, but thankfully, Counter Fire's power siphon is not power drain or power gain, so you won't actually gain a power gain buff, so you won't have that power drain debuff. But yeah, we'll just see how this plays out. Special one, unblockable. Now I parry that. A very important part of his kit is to parry the end of specials if you can. It uh, doesn't matter if the final hit's unblockable or what, because yeah, he's got completely unblockable specials, but if you parry perfectly, you do get the evade. Now there, I eat a special 2 to the face, but 90% degen resistance, no worries. 4 damage per tick, not really going to be stressed about that. So yeah, I'm just building up here, making sure... See, I get the degen, what's that, 30 damage per tick? Yeah. So that's nothing. Again, I would prefer to have used a special to not get that, but I just decided to ignore that node and see how much damage it would do. Very negligible damage. At 60 damage a second, yeah, that's not going to stress me. So here, again, just making sure I'm using my evades on cooldown if I can, but when you're in the heat of the battle, it can be a bit tough sometimes. Here, I accidentally push him to special 2, so I'm like, you know what? I have 13 furies. I had over 100 armor charges. I'm just going to push here. Special 2, dead. Not even close. Wasn't even stressed. So yeah, pretty clean fight there. Not really, but he just has so much tankiness and the ability to get smacked around that it's not really an issue. So let's check out this final boss. 8.3... 8.4.3 final boss. He's got Dawn of Protection, which means he's going to get incrementing protections, and you've got to remove them with a first-time medium combo ender, a special knockdown, and a heavy knockdown. You've got to cycle that. It's also got immunity to bleed, not really going to bother us. True lies, not going to bother us. If he had true strike, that would bother us because we couldn't evade, but that just means that we can't have it. Days to confuse, not going to bother us because we're not going to be parrying that much. We'll be evading instead. And the final node, which means that if you punish the special attack and then chuck a striker, you get a fury. I don't use that too much. Could have used it more to make this a bit quicker, but I was just focused on controlling the fight. This is where I'm going to mention that his evade, he actually does a hit during the evade. So as you'll notice here, when my evade comes off cooldown, what are my hits at? 14. Next time I do this parry, it will go to 15. Hopefully I do the parry. Wait for it. Hold. Okay. When I par It should go to 17 when I parry. There it is. So that can trigger the energy vulnerability if when you parry the special, they're right next to you. So certain special attacks like Winter Soldiers, that's never going to happen. Like Sasquatch's special 1, never going to happen. Sasquatch's special 2, on the other hand, could certainly happen. Anywhere they're up close, you don't have to worry about the follow-up. Yeah, that's just a quick little thing that you can note, but it's also important for things like if you're versing Thing without Iron Man synergy, you've got to worry about those rock stacks, you know, any champion who cares about how many hits you're dealing. If you're at a threshold where an extra hit's going to matter, just note that, you know, his basic combo, if you parry, is kind of six hits. So I'm just, yeah, playing this for control, making sure my Ionic charges are always built up. So there. There, I got the parry, immediate energy vulnerability, and then I can hit him. I want to try and stack those as much as possible, but as you'd know, Sasquatch's special one puts a lot of distance on you, and also, if you mess up the block, no foreshadowing here, you get stunned. So, you got to watch out for that completely. I would watch out. Um, I wouldn't say it's too worth, but, you know, it's all skill gaps, and I love champions with a high skill ceiling, and I feel like Dr. Neferia is just going to be great for that. Um, see there, he was unstoppable, but I got the parry, so I evaded and hit him, did like a cheeky, you know, inbuilt to the evade is the hit while he's unstoppable, so he can't hit me. Very useful to build these up without getting punished, see if I do it again here, yeah. So he can't punish that, he, you cannot be punished while, well, if it's at the end of a special attack. You know how Destroyer, as he dashes into you, if he's, uh, if you're using... Well, Dr. Nefer is a great example. You can still get steamrolled by unstoppable champs dashing into you as you evade. So I'd watch out for that. But also, see how I missed the, the parry there? And I got inflicted with a rupture. Ruptures are physical damage. And when Count Nefaria is in his Ionic Overcharge, which I'm about to be in, 
he gains crazy physical resistance. So I'm actually healing over 150 health per tick, which is 300 health per second, based on that rupture, like subtracting the damage it's dealing. Um, which is pretty crazy because he has energy damage, physical resistance, energy damage in the form of shock and uh, incinerate uh, resistance. He's just got a lot of things going for him in terms of sustainability, survivability, and utility. And that is the main reason why I like him so much. It just feels like I can take him into a lot of fights, especially if I have the Iron Man synergy, it just opens up a lot more fights. But like, yeah, I can take him into a lot of fights and do really well. It's, yeah, it really blows me away how much this champ can do and how much I'm realizing this champ can do as I play with him more. I'm still only new to him. Yeah, I've only had him for a few days here. Um, pretty early video here, but I just figured I'd rather get it out sooner than later. I've been sitting on this fight. This was like first day that I got him. I did this fight. Um, so you can see I'm probably not as proficient as I am now. Uh, there's a Dormammu fight I'll show next, which I actually did the day of recording. Um, so yeah, that should be very, very good. Um, another utility showcase. Just insane all the stuff he can do. Yeah, no healing here from uh, Sasquatch, but we'll just get the fight down. Pretty basic stuff once you get into this point, because he's been in it so long. I do kind of regret not bringing Iron Man, but it does go to show you don't need Iron Man for every unstoppable matchup or every, you know, chance where there is an unstop. Just if it's going to be very, very um, in your face for the whole fight, you might as well bring him. But yeah, here, get the fight down. It was pretty long, don't get me wrong. But I wasn't stacking up as many energy vulnerabilities as I possibly could have. And yeah, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. It was a decent fight. Massive control ending on full health. So here's that uh, Dormammu fight. It is the Eternity of Pain Dormammu. He's got buffed up. So I have brought Odin. And he's got Footloose. So I've brought Iron Man. Um, but he's got Prey on the Weak. Placebo. Just so many stuff. Uh, no Surrender. Which is when you dash back, you gain the degen if you dash back twice. But the good news is with Count Nefaria... I feel like I've been saying Dr. Nefario. If I have, apologies, but um, that's what I type in chats when I say it. That's how I refer to him. But I am trying to be correct. But yeah, Dr. Nefario here um, is really good against this matchup. Even though Domamu has 90% energy resistance. And when you're in Ionic Overcharge, you have energy uh, damage only. No physical damage. It's no worries because... Um, yeah, you can place those energy vulnerabilities so easily off the Mummy special ones. So, 90% resistance of a lot of damage is still a uh, pretty decent amount of damage. Plus, the degens from the node help a lot. So, it's just the sustain that you can have throughout this entire fight because you heal from your special ones. The degens are going to be tickling you at best. And yeah, even if there was shocks and incinerates in here, they'd be helping. Ruptures would just be healing you. The only debuff that really stops you in your tracks is Poison. Bleed slows you down a lot, but you are immune to it, so it can't kill you. But it just removes some of your stacks. But yeah, as you can see here, Degen's doing nothing. Evades, unstops, Footloose, no problem. Iron Man's on the team. Like, I just cannot describe how satisfying it is to use a champion who just shuts fights down. I wish that Dormammu had, like, passive power gain in this as well. Actually, oh, just on top of it, yeah, but not as his only source of power. Because if it's their only source of power, you can't parry them, like their specials, because they won't be getting them. Um, but, yeah, here, just the three energy vulnerabilities. My basic hits are only dealing, you know, a few hundred damage, but if you crit, you're going to be dealing a lot. 28k, decent. Again, would be a lot more if the energy resistance wasn't there, but still insane amounts of damage for such a high resistance champion and yeah just the fight control i have here i'm not at any point worried about getting clipped dying even if i do get clipped the special one heal is just going to top me right up um and if you do take a lot of damage you can just switch to special one cycling no issues with that at all um forego a little bit of damage and again here i am kind of not alternating exactly between special one and special two just to keep my stacks up and just make sure I'm controlling the fight as I want to. That's the good thing. It's kind of annoying in war. You'll see later. I do verse a 7-star rank 3 Serpent and time out. Which 
is crazy. Um, only have five star, not ascended. We'll Sig, I think, one eleven at that point. Um, but yeah, it's it's just crazy how much control he can have over the fight, even if it's a bit slower. Oh, like he's stun immune. No worries. I'll just evade you. I'll get free ins whenever I want. So if you can evade the champ and their specials are parryable, like at the end, like they're close, you're able to punish it. You're laughing. There's really nothing that can go wrong. Um, yeah, I just, I just couldn't believe it. this was first try just this morning. I was like, oh, that's a, I have a great idea of a fight I could do this Dormammu because I believe it has Footloose, and yeah, just he's dead. He's cooked. And when it comes to the distribution of damage, the degen from the node was 46%, but I never looked like dying. So again, just, just live through it, you know. <laughs> So here we have a war fight. It is against an Adam Warlock in, it's like not the highest tier war. It's I think top two, 3%. Uh, but yeah, this is node 49. It's aspect of evolution. So whenever he gains a bar of power, he basically ups all his stats, including combat power rate and ability accuracy. Um, his special two is also enhanced, special two bias, and the defender's power gain effects gain 50% potency. So I'm just boosting up here, but as you know, Adam gains passively 2.5% of a bar of power every second, uh, but has less combat power rate. But that 2.5%, once we're in Ionic Overcharge, will be 0. piss all percent, uh, and we'll be gaining, again, piss all, but we'll still be gaining some, but he'll basically have no passive power gain, which for Adam Warlock is super annoying. Oh, also, his special one is a double hit like Winter Soldier's special one. So you can get the parry and get that free in. So parry the first one, evade the second one, just by holding block. So you just parry the first one and hold block. You evade automatically. And then here, siphon away. There we go, no passive power gain for you, for the most part. Um, and then, yeah, it's just control, as is the flavor of Dr. Nefar uh, Count Nefarious, Damn. Um, his entire kit, just control the fight, win the fight. Massive damage, you know, it's, again, I'm boosted quite high, I'm going to take the boss here, so not too much of a worry, but just really wanted to show off the fact, sorry jump cut there, um, show off the fact that you could parry the first hit, get rid of the second, you can do that in a lot of cases, so I would really watch out for that. Um, quick bursty specials and also the healing and the power gain shutdown like see that stasis pod enjoy gaining 0% health um, it's a beautiful thing there he almost hit special 2 wouldn't have really been too much of a worry because again he would have gained nothing but nice to avoid just he's starting to storm me out here I'm tempted to just parry relic and go and side to side I'm pretty sure he had a side yeah go for it because he'll drop anyway um, but yeah, heaps of wiggle room there. Had another special two ready to go. But yeah, that's that fight down. Very easy, very nice. Just kind of want to showcase that. Now here we are with back to back to back war fights. Tile 48, Deja Vu Prowess. Um, Prowess Puncture, so you know, more block pen and also Conflictor. Now Conflictor is the important one here because every seven seconds if you give him a debuff, he gains 50% of a bar of power. Now with Count Nefaria's uh, signature ability, the kind of middle dot point says that when the opponent gains X percent of a bar of power from passive or buff within 0.5 seconds, instantly gain 50 ionic charges and activate ionic overcharge. So as you saw, as soon as I did that parry, you gain 50%, and then I went into ionic overcharge, and ionic overcharge means I shut down his power gain, so the next time it happened, which was just then, no power for you, for the most part, like, you know, 95% less power for you. Now there, I tactically get rid of my invulnerability boost because I don't want it anymore, so I just decide I'm going to eat the special. Um, but yeah, the good thing is if you do eat his special 1 or 2, it won't deal too much damage. You don't have that high energy resistance, but the special 2 incinerates, which normally obliterate you, won't really hurt you at all. Kind of like Onslaught, but they will hurt you a little bit. Um, and any shocks, you just got to worry about him converting them into a god slap into the abyss because yeah, they will still hurt. You do gain physical um, resistance, but Dr. Doom energy damage, you know, called counter type stuff. So, gotta watch out. But yeah, here, once you're in Ionic Overdrive, you're done. Is it Overdrive or Overcharge? Overcharge. I don't know if I've been saying Overdrive, but yeah. The point is, control of the 
fight, yeah? What's been the theme of this video? Say it with me, everyone. Nah, but, um, here yeah, I get the shock healing me. I just got to be careful not to get slapped by him. I wanted to chain the special, but I wasn't quite sure if it would, um, if his aura would have run out by then, so I just opted not to. Here he is stalling me out a bit. Because, yeah, the special ones. I should have been baiting more special twos, but, you know, they're so scary, man. Who wants to bait out special twos from Doom? Especially in war. Um, but, yeah, there I was in Ionic Overdrive, so I gained a cheeky burst of power from that debuff. And then cycle more special two. Big damage. Oh, another thing about Doom is that special one's unblockable, and you cannot parry the first bit of it to then dex the last one. Because you can parry the first one, no you can't because it's unblockable so you're smacked. Um, bit annoying, so no evading of Doom specials unless you do the special 2, but that just sounds terrifying. So I'll just opt for kind of playing it normally. Um, yeah, like you will get the fight down. As you can see, the control here is great. Conflict is completely turned off. I'm instead gaining power. Uh, it's very satisfying, very satisfying interaction there. Any kind of, you know, power gain situation, again, tactically eating a slap to the face, just to showcase the regen on the special one, if I even get to another one. Um, I don't know why I waited for that. Oh, because I'm scared of the special two yet. So that's classic, you know, war fight in a quest or in um, any kind of situation that isn't a war fight. I'm, you know, instantly dexing special twos, but as soon as we're in war, I'm getting hit by the first blast. Um, but yeah, we're just cleaning them up here, baiting out special ones, playing it a lot slower than I could have, but you got five minutes, not a very healthy doom. I wasn't too worried about it. Um, yeah, a lot of things that could have been more optimal, but again, I wasn't stressed. I was just kind of in it to, because I hadn't actually used him in Conflictor. I was pretty sure it would work, because I mean, the abilities say so, but yeah, it was just a bit, a bit freaky, so I just figured I played a bit slow. But yeah, that's him down. Um, onto the Serpent boss, which, yeah, is kind of sad, but kind of also pretty, pretty cool. So here we are approaching Mr. Rank 3 7 Star Serpent. Absolutely terrifying beast. Like, how did Bro get so much health? Um, thankfully, yeah, I'm not in the highest tier, so he doesn't have 8.7 million health, but I'm also only rank 5, not ascended. Uh, and I do, I'm, I've already spoiled it, but yeah, I do time out. Um, he gets quite low, but it's just a combination of you not being able to, um, parry and evade the last hit of his special 1. That would be great. If you could do that and get the energy vulnerabilities, it'd be sweet. But also, the other side of that is the fact that he gains, because he's the war boss, the node, um, adaptive cycles between building up energy resistance and physical resistance every 8 seconds. So, you get the fun of increasing his resistance throughout the fight, and because you can't play his vulnerabilities, he just resists you more and more. And you'll, even if you were, could alternate, you know, which damage you could do, it wouldn't matter because he gains both. So... Yeah, a bit annoying, because right as you start to ramp up and get comfortable, that's when he starts to get really tanky. But yeah, all I'm doing here is baiting out whichever one of his specials he wants to use. I'm not too fast. And then special one, special two, cycling. So here, that, it's such a perfect parry, because he jumps straight at you, nice and close. Anyway, um, but yeah, even if it wasn't part of Serpent's base kit, it's also just the, um, the boss node, where... He's got the stem stymied, stymied, yeah, stymied defenses node. Uh, the attacker cannot evade or auto block. Additionally, the defender's attacks ignore armor and resistances. So that ignoring resistances does kind of get annoying because of that extra physical resistance that you gain is zero when you're versing serpent. Um, so yeah, he's just a pain in the ass, especially as a boss. I was optimistic about how this fight would go and the control here is crazy because you get great healing on special ones but look at this look at that damage there the red number oh where was it um but yeah again it's just the same thing where you're just cycling special one special two sometimes back to back special ones you just want to make sure you're always in ionic overcharge so that you can keep the uh, power gain neutered and make sure that you're siphoning it yeah, um, like, I just wish this was the solo, but it just, it just, the reach just isn't there. 
um, because of the lack of physical vulnerability, energy vulnerabilities, and the fact that yeah, he gains those energy resistances. I'm just tanking massive hits to the block, which again you wouldn't have to do because I'm taking heaps of burst damage, which then means that I can't keep cycling special twos and special ones. I have to throw in more special ones to get some of the health back. But again, at this point, it's like it's been two and a half, over two and a half minutes, and he's not half dead. And he's only going to get tanky as the fight goes on, so it's like, yeah, um, it's kind of over. But I was like, might as well get as much headway as I can. Because, yeah, the final bit of Serpent's health bar, like once he hits 0 or 1% and gets the uh, immortality, that bit's great. I love that. That's very satisfying because he gains no health, you gain health, and then he just dies at the end of it. But, yeah, this whole hassle bit in the middle where he's got full health... I could do without that, um, yeah, I don't know, so the whole serpent thing is kind of annoying because I saw Legacy's, um, petition, I think, yeah, um, to, you know, get him nerfed or whatever, there was the sign-up sheet and all that, a lot of controversy going on about whether serpent's overpowered or not, um, oh, Another thing before I start yapping about Serpent and complaining, that's my favourite pastime, um, is that Serpent, oh, when you're in PvP game modes, the willpower healing gives you healing, like, the enemy's willpower gives you healing because they're trying to heal from your, all your debuffs, and if you have despair, it doesn't matter, that doesn't shut it down, but heal block from, like, the tactic will shut that down because they'll be gaining zero health and so the amount of health they would be gaining is still zero without your debuffs so that's kind of annoying but serpent is heal block immune which is a hassle but here it's actually good because we're shutting his healing down through the debuffs and um, you know count nefaria's natural abilities so we are actually getting that health back so that's that steady stream of health that's coming in uh, but yeah again here i just kind of want to showcase that you can survive the serpent's just onslaught of attacks for five minutes which is crazy because normally my, it's dealing so much damage to my block you know serpent's fun and interactive mechanic where he just annihilates you through the block and you can't do anything about it is countered kind of like it's countered for sure but you still can't i can't get him down again there is the rank disparity if i was ranked three so uh counter ferrier i would kill there but it is also lower tier alliance war so I don't know. Here we have the finish. Uh, yeah, I've just times two it, just kind of moving along quicker because it's the exact same as what you just watched. Um, gaining control of the fight, you know, building up stacks, not evading, um, just getting it through the fact that he's trying to heal through willpower, um, but he's heal blocked, so just immediately stacking up as many as he can. Um, you know, same diff here, and then special one, special two, sometimes double special one, like I just did there. I think that was mainly just to give myself a bit of a health buffer. I could rock, an rock another one, just because, you know, he will die at the end, so no stress. But you could also try and, um, really make sure that you're taking advantage of the fact that he doesn't have those, uh, resistances fully stacked. But yeah, again, not too much of an issue, not really worried here. Pretty much maxed out my health until I just ate the special two. Find an interactive damage, here we go though, should slow down here. So here it is, 1%, um, about to, just there we go, death immunity, 1%, no healing, I'm healing instead. So thank you for that serpent, and he's dead. Lovely. Very satisfying finishes to all serpent fights with Count Nefario. Okay, so we'll cap off the video with a Realm of Legends Wolverine fight. When everyone thinks of healing, most people think of Wolverine, especially Realm of Legends Wolverine, because his healing goes insane. Um, so yeah, here, I'll just be trying to get him down. You know, I'm not really doing anything special here. Uh, one thing about Wolverine is that the energy vulnerabilities are hard to stack because of his special attacks. He doesn't really move towards you. Um, but yeah, you know, that's, he's already getting deleted just by trying to heal. So hopefully, unfortunately, I'm not proccing regens on these hits. Otherwise, he'd be nuking himself. There's one. If he does proc the double regen, that's when he really starts to suffer. But he's just refusing to, there we go. So between the special and, <laughs> he's dead. He's gone. He's, yeah, finished. So if there's lots of healing and nothing stopping you from modifying it, Count Nefaria is the way. Now, just because it was so fast, I've slowed it down. 
Like, just look at this absolute deletion and reversal of health. He's absolutely obliterated. Just so satisfying. But yeah, that will do it for the video. Um, a bit of a longer one. I've never done a video this long before. I just kind of wanted to chuck a bunch of fights I did together and kind of talk over them. I don't know if people would enjoy this type of stuff, but I figured I'm enjoying the champion. At the very least, I'll do it for me. So yeah, if you did enjoy this and you want to see more content like this, um, chuck me a like, comment, subscription. Please let me know in the comments if you did like it, because um, I'll try and do more with different champions and stuff if you want to see that. Uh, but yeah, with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.